Hey guys, welcome back to another reading. Um, so today's reading is going to be about how you personally could make your abundance happen, how you can get rich, how you can be successful, prosperous, all of that good stuff, how you can make your fortune basically, or your millions, whatever. Um, I mean, some of you may not be looking to make a million, you might just be looking to gain success in a certain area of your life or you know increase your finances um but i mean well we're all looking to make a million i suppose but you know this reading is basically just some guidance on how to increase your wealth status success and just make you generally more prosperous okay um Obviously, this is for entertainment purposes only, so please don't make big life decisions based on any tarot readings. Um, because you know, just a little disclaimer there, because you know, I like to think people wouldn't do that anyway. But I, um, you know, it's it's important to use your discernment in life and, um, just take tarot readings with a pinch of salt. Um, but anyway, without further ado, we'll get into your reading. Um, and with this reading, I've got three different Queen of Pentacles cards. This one's written as the Queen of Coins. Um, and I want you basically to pick a card. I'm not going to go majorly in depth with each reading like I might have done in my other videos. Um, I'm going to pick three tarot cards for each reading. And then we're going to do oracle cards. Okay, so each reading for whatever um, one you choose will be roughly 10, 20 minutes, depending on yeah what we what we get. Um, but yes, we will um, see what we pull. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles here from this lovely pink theme deck. Um, and this is with the Lapis Lazuli stone, um, which represents a lot of emotional healing and things like that. Um, the Queen of Pentacles then is, uh, sorry, the this this deck here, um, this Queen of Pent Pentacles is represented by this kitten deck. Um, it's a kitten theme, so if cats resonate with you somehow, um, doesn't have to be a black cat. The deck is full of, well, it was basically black and white cats. <laughs> so, um, Cats in general, if they resonate with you, um, again here if the colour pink resonates with you or the stone, emotional healing. With rose quartz, uh, rose quartz is to bring about, um, bring love and affection into your life. Um, bring, bring, just bring about like uh, love, friendship, feelings of closeness in relationships generally. Um, and then we have from this deck, we've got the last unicorn deck. So if the last unicorn film um, somehow like holds any significance to you, this could be your reading here. This is with the red jasper um, stone. Um, and yeah, I don't know if any of you have seen the film. I've seen it. It's one of my old favourite classics. And um, this is a really pretty deck as well so we're going to be pulling three cards from each deck um so uh pick your card so i'm going to start off with this queen of pentacles so we're just going to put these two away and we will go to them and so we've got um the queen, i've chosen the queen of pentacles as the card to stand out but i'm going to put it back into shuffling um just in case it comes out, because that is a card that could tell us a lot. So, if you use your, um, your pink coloured deck, which you chose, and just shuffle your cards now, guys. So, I'm going to shuffle three cards. Um, so, what we've got here, we've got the two, three, four, five, six, seven of pentacles. And the... Six of Pentacles. That was uh, interesting. Um, 
ones we have also got the world ah okay so in this reading i can see a lot of sort of craftsmanship um initially here with pentacles especially with this seven of pentacles here um this is basically the crafting card we've got somebody looking back at their work and trying to figure out you know um have i done enough work here do it what more can i do to improve so it could be something that you've got undergoing already that could be in the process of um like a work in progress basically um and you could be liaising with others here in the six of pentacles um this could be sort of you know um urging you to work with other people in order to get ideas um perhaps people you've known uh already like or learned from already may sort of come back in to help advise you with this current project that you may have going on the world though is saying basically that success is yours basically it just depends how much work you want to put in um it could mean um that you you know may put an end to something that wasn't quite working out and you start afresh because the world can signify an ending but it can just mean the start of something very something new and new dreams materialize materializing i couldn't say the word then um but it it definitely denotes worldly success okay um it's a, it's a card full of you know fulfillment and vitality and basically you know you come to understand what is needed to create balance in your life very soon and bring about this this big change which will see the fruits of your labor come to fruition so it could be that you work with your hands somehow um if not that could be the way to gaining a, a, making some good uh, fortune for yourself um perhaps you've been told by other people that you're sort of you know the work you do um like in the physical sense um maybe you work in the it could be anything from like you know working in beauty therapy to building craftsmanship like skilled labor sort of thing um it also suggests like going into business by yourself and setting up your own business um so that's something that could be significant for you here you may have been thinking already about um going into business for yourself and they, these cards here definitely indicate that, you know, this is what this world card here is basically what you could be achieving the world, you know, conquering the world, <laughs> as it were. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, with the Six of Pentacles, it's a positive outlook. Um but planning is needed, okay? You need to do some careful planning, like I say, with some others. Um, you may need to look to others for some advice before moving forward, but that will strengthen everything. That will strengthen your resolve. Um, and it will just bring about a well-planned, more accurate um, results in what you want to achieve. Um, it'll help you make sound decisions and it'll just give you confidence okay um so don't be afraid to ask for advice or counsel from other people um obviously make sure they're trusted people and not people that you are you know who could be people you don't know very well i mean obviously it's nice to seek advice from people but just don't be just be aware not to tell people everything and all of your plans because you can get people sometimes who don't have the best you know people get jealous you know what i mean so just be aware be aware of that but basically with the people you trust and you've learned to trust seek advice um the, you know your efforts here 
are bound to make progress and get results. And it's a time to show that you can start making things happen now. Um, you're resourceful, you know, you're, you've got this new energy to move forward. And yeah, you know, the world is yours, basically. So um, just, just, um, just, I would say, keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your goal in mind, whatever it is you want to do. And remember that you can't achieve something without actually putting in the work. Um, it may be tempting sometimes to procrastinate as with this card here. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're procrastinating. You could be just standing back and trying to evaluate, you know, is this really going to get me anywhere? Um, but it is. Okay, so you need to keep at it. <laughs> um, you need to, you know, you're in a strong position here where you can use your skills and make, um, you know, speedy progress towards what, what you want. Um so yeah guys so i think that's clear we just do some oracle cards now on um further just to give you some key insights into um how to become abundant and i'm going to be using these this will these alice in wonderland oracle cards um shuffle these i'm gonna get three of these for you and it says here set your course know where you wish to go have a plan the right direction and i think that just literally just ties into what i said there about careful planning and um you know speaking to others and planning ahead and having a strategy so that's very important for you guys um you know, some people get lucky on a whim. Some people get lucky with their fortune just by an impulsive decision. But it seems like for you guys, planning is involved. Um, and, you know, putting in the work is involved. But it'll be worth it. Very worth it. We've got also here, becoming braver, resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective. Okay, so this card is basically saying like, be resilient to, you know, whatever could be blocking you from carrying on. Like here, you might be thinking, mm, having doubts or something at times. But be be resilient to that. Use your experience that you've been acquiring over time. Um, and, you know, strengthen your resolve to keep going. Um, a fresh perspective. You know, it could mean that sometimes you have a little break and come back. But... Again, fresh perspectives come from sharing ideas like we have here. So that ties in with that. And one more card from this deck. Um, let's have a look here. So we've got, use your time well. Make every moment count. So, yeah, I think that just backs up what we've said about putting in the work and, um, you know, to actually achieve what you want to achieve, you have to put in the work, basically, and you have to use your time accordingly. So I think this ties in with the planning, planning your time, having a strategy. Don't let the days go by, you know, or too much time pass without having to do something. Remember that you have to actually put in the work to get results. OK, so I hope that resonates with you. Um, now I'm going to do some cards from the fortune oracle we'll do two cards from here um and just see what they say just trying to get them out of the box which i probably should have done already um so i'm just going to shuffle these cards and see what pops up for you okie dokie we have the owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom, wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Um, so it could be that you're transitioning um, in some way at the moment. Um, there's a change going on or about to go on. And 
this may tie into how you work or how you plan. Um, it could be, like I say, if this is the start of a new project or with the wheel card, it can be the end of um, something that wasn't quite working out um, and you needed to start again from scratch in order for it to work. But yet you've used the skills you've used um, or the things you've experienced beforehand are going to come into play and, you know, make certain that this time round things will work out. Um, and it says, you know, the spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found in this transition. So you've become wise to a lot of what works and what doesn't. Um, OK, so it's important to remember what you have learned. Maybe make a little note um, about what's working and what what has worked for you in the past and what hasn't in terms of, you know, your projects. Um, perhaps a certain type of planning method has worked for you, perhaps you know, keeping a journal or, um, like I say, working with others, um, perhaps nighttime working is when you work best, you know, just try and think about what, what has worked for you in the past. So I'm just shuffling the other cards here now. Oh, wow, look at that. We've got the abundance card. <laughs> Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success and prosperity. So I think that just solidifies what the outcome could be for you guys all right so um it does tell me that something along the lines of the practical um the craftsmanship perhaps going into your own business could be the way forward for you again take what resonates if you totally disagree it might not be your reading but um but that is what the cards are indicating so far um, so I'm going to do one Work Your Light Oracle card from this deck, just as a um, a little message um, from the divine, as it were, as they say. Um, and let's see what this card has to say. So we've got... The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So take how this card, re card resonates, guys. It could be, you know, that a rose is significant somehow in this connection or flowers. Perhaps, you know, floristry is the way forward for you. Um, again, that's something where you use your hands and it's something you could go into your own business for. Um, just an idea, guys. Obviously, it's not, that's not going to be for everybody. Um, but perhaps flowers or um, beauty, you know, it could be an indication, it could be a sign. Um, obviously, if you're not into something like that and it's something to do with, you know, uh, let me see, like if, if, for example, it's to do with like carpentry or, or plumbing or uh, mechanics, you know, um, it's it could just be an indication that you're on the right path here. Um, you're you're it's happening for you, not to you, is the message. So you know it's already it's already starting to blossom. Okay, this this journey. So this journey to abundance. Um, so yeah, just keep going in your um with the good work, guys. Um with what you're doing um, because it seems that you are, you know, whatever you are, whatever project you're currently um, undertaking is going to get you where you want to want to be. All right. So that is the reading for um, the first card. Um, I'm going to clear up now and do, probably do the next card reading. Um, Let's take these away. Just bear with me. Um, um, just put these away and then we will do your other reading. Okay. And so. So the next reading was with the the um kitten theme deck 
and I've got here, um, as you can see, it's all sort of kitten themes, black and white cats, <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, we've got mice in there too, um, and the red jasper, was it the red jasper? No, sorry, I beg your pardon, it was the rose quartz. Um, so I'm going to shuffle these cards, three cards of for um, this individual please spirit on how they can make their fortune, how they can be successful. So we've got the two of wands. We have got the nine of pentacles. That is cool. And the two of cups. Okay. Um, so initially what I'm getting here with this reading is we've got two, two, two cards, okay? We've got the two of wands and the two of cups, um, which immediately indicates to me that going into partnership with somebody could be the way forward for you. Um, I mean, you may think, no, nah, that's not for me, but these cards do sort of strongly indicate that a partnership um, is is something is like your route to success so it could be a friend a relative uh perhaps working for somebody um you know in the family or that you're related to um it's going to bring it bring you about success if you don't feel that's right for you it doesn't have to mean that um but um essentially i would say that there, that is a strong indication of what that means. The Nine of Pentacles card as well, guys, is um, it's it's a card of reaching a higher level and, and it's a card of accomplishment. OK, so you can see like reaching a higher level. This um, cat here is about to climb the tree um, and, you know, forming a new understanding and reaching a, a place, a place of, you know, like tranquility and understanding and reaching the end of a journey that you've been on um so also the two of wands card is i believe this is the vision card um and having this vision that you've got currently um is going to lead you quite quickly into this um into this nine of pentacles state which is basically great it's a great achievement um a very joyful hard-earned accomplishment is literally destined for you um and you you'll just feel you know so it, it'll just bring about such happiness um and you'll be in a good position to um increase your abundance um it's also a card of generosity, so it could mean that you go into something where you're helping others somehow. Um, I mean, obviously, charity work is something that I, I, I've heard. I'm hearing like charity work for some reason, but take that how it resonates. But it could be the path that leads you into what you want to do. Um, uh, but yeah, it, there's a clear vision that you have here for the future. Um, and it is just a time to enjoy, you know, who you are, what you have. Um, and just see how your contributions are paying off. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing like a partnership. I'm seeing climbing the ladder as such. It could be that you want to you know take a step up in your career um and you just want to uh perhaps, perhaps you've spoken to whoever your boss is and you've said look i'm interested in doing such and such to you know get further in my career perhaps a certain course um but yeah the two of cups again is about partnership it's also about trust and you know like mutual understanding so it could be that you want to you know perhaps you've been talking to um your superior and explaining that you want to come up to this level 
up to a higher level in your role. Um, but it also shows like this mutual understanding. You work really well with this person, you know. Um, there's a you know, you you want to commit to this, you know, whatever this is. You're feeling very committed to it. Um, and also to working with this other person, if that's the case. You feel very optimistic about it. Um, you've got a very good working bond. Um, it, all, it almost is, you know, the Two of Cups is like a, is a partnership card, whether you're looking at it from a love perspective or like here, obviously, we're looking at it just as a general, but it could mean that you go into partnership with a loved one. Um, for this reading, um, like your your spouse or your your significant other, or your best friend, um, but this this will bring about, you know, it's suggested it brings about security, um, and, you know, prosperity. So, yeah, I mean, take that as it will, as you will, um. Again, if you are dead against going into partnership with somebody, I don't feel this would be a reading. Just because we've got sort of two two of the two cards here, two out of three, you know, and that does suggest dual duality. Um, but this card here, the two of wands, it's the card of a, of a vision, of a choice as well, okay? Um you may feel that you have a choice to make regarding which way you go. But it does also mean that there's an offer, a sincere offer um, coming in for you. And it could be something that, you know, one thing clashes with the other and you have to measure one thing up against the other thing and make a little bit of a dis difficult choice. But whatever it is, you know, you will make the right choice, okay? Um, you just need to trust what you know is already right. Um, it may mean some compromise needs to come in, um, especially if you want to get to this place here, climb this ladder. Um, but I definitely see some sort of proposition here coming in. So it's almost like, Somebody who you already feel close to, whether that's work, love, friendship, may come in with an offer to you and say, look, do you want to, shall we go into business? Um, if you want to do it, you've got to do such and such to get to the level you need to be at. Could be a course, it could be a bit of training, um, whatever it is, but this person sees a vision with you and you see it with them. But you're trying to, you may be in this mindset of, do I do I go for it or not? Or do I do something else? Um, so you have to weigh up, up what, what works for you. But this reading suggests that um, you should follow your heart. Okay. Um, it's down to personal preference. Um, but yeah, it, there's, there's definitely... You know, there's a there's definitely a desire here to move upwards and onwards and forwards. You know, um, you want to climb this ladder, um, and that you may have done already, um, but to enhance what you've already got, it may mean partnership, um, going into partnership with somebody or another company if you're in charge of a company at the moment. So, again, I'm gonna do the oracle cards which i did in the last reading um alice in wonderland themed oracle cards i'm going to do three of these and okay first one is keep your temper okay doesn't mean you've got a bad temper but it just could mean that at times you know you're feeling a little bit frustrated with this situation it says don't allow, allow anger to rule you um, or if you felt you've been set back, perhaps you tried to climb the ladder and felt you've slipped back down somehow. But it's just this would just suggest, you know, don't let that get the be best of you. Don't let don't give up. OK. Um, 
or belong to your own dream, create your own your own life. Yeah, that's uh, I have to the writing's so small. I'm sure I'm getting to an age that where I need like glasses for really small writing. Um, but yeah, that speaks for itself really. Um, don't give up on on your dream. It's your own dream. Um, again, that resonates here with this vi the vision card, two of wands. Um, create your own life. Um, you you want to create the life that you've always envisioned. You've been manifesting it, um, and don't give up on that. Okay. Um, and then we've got keeping up, immense effort. Um, what's the other word? Um, ad advance. So yeah, advancing, climbing the ladder, it all resonates, um, you know, it's t keeping up, it's sort of, and we've got this clock here, it's sort of suggesting that, you know, there may be a time period involved for you to make a decision. Um, you know, perhaps this per particular person who has made a proposition to you isn't going to wait around forever. Um, so you do need to make a decision soon about what you want to do, whether you're going to go ahead with this. Um, okay, I'm going to do your fortune oracle cards now. And I'm going to get two of these. And then I'll do one of the work your light cards. So these are the fortune cards, general fortune oracle. Um, uh, here we've got luck. Uh, you were right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. So I feel that um I feel that speaks for itself we've got it's the number 19 card perhaps that resonates the number 19 perhaps it's someone's birth date and i've also got lovers here um this could mean anything it says the there are two paths ahead be true to yourself now the lovers card in tarot just in general means dual duality um it means partnership again it doesn't necessarily mean falling in love but it means two people are coming together and that ties in very strongly again with the two the two of wands and the two of cups which we pulled initially in your tarot reading um so that strongly again suggests that working in partnership with somebody i mean again this could be that you go into it means it could mean that you go into partnership with a loved one or a lover or spouse whatever but it could also mean you know two people work together best the two people together two heads together reap the, the best rewards um you know and it's but it says it reminds you be true to yourself as well um there are two paths ahead um so again you could with this choice card sorry here um where is it the two of wands um it's reminded us that there is a choice all right um but you need to be true to yourself and what you want to do so if you do feel that this other person is kind of making a proposition to you but it's not quite what you want it could be that they are the key to opening a certain door for you in or a certain idea not to say that you're going to steal their ideas, but they could just sort of pave the way for you into doing something that you'd rather do your way, um, so to speak. But even so, this reading suggests that it's through another person that you would reach success, okay? Um, somehow, one way or another. Um, Okie dokie, so I'm just going to do your... Um, work your light oracle cards this deck comes with a cute little book if anybody um, you can get them on amazon these cards uh, i'm just going to shuffle them for you and we've got warrior woman this woman holding a sword up it doesn't mean that you're a woman you could be a man watching this um but it shows a warrior spirit nonetheless and it says have you answered your deepest calling so this could be something that has been on your mind your calling for a long time this would this certain project whatever you want to do um and it's showing that you could need a bit of a warrior spirit to proceed ahead with it um there may be some challenges 
and you may feel the need to not have a weapon okay i'm not saying that but you may feel like you've got to sort of battle your way through some obstacles to get there but that's like anything we put in the work um so yeah guys i hope that reading resonates with with you on how you may make your um fortune and reach your state of abundance that you'd like to be in um because i'm gonna just clear these cards away and ready to do the next reading um is here and there we go we're gonna do reading number three now um so reading number three was with the queen of pentacles with the last unicorn deck and the red jasper stone um so we're gonna have a look get some cards shuffle these Pass you the corn cards and see what we get here. Um, I've just dropped two on the floor, so I'm going to take those. Um, while I was shuffling, they popped out and fell on the floor. So we have the Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. That came up in the, uh, the first reading. And Seven of Cups. So again, we've got two um, of the same numbers. Um, seven, of coin, seven of Pentacles or Coins and Seven of Cups. So the number seven could be very significant here. Um, um, let's have a look. But yeah, so yeah, seven could be a significant number in this reading. Um, you know, seven sig signifies in itself confidence. Um, but let me just gather my thoughts. So we have the Knight of Swords as well. So I feel like you're already in a position, perhaps of authority. Um, this would suggest um, where people look up to you. You have a lot of knowledge in your current status or whatever it is that you do um because a king um sorry it's the knight of swords i was thinking of the king but you still would have a lot of knowledge um in your position okay and you're i'd say with the knight you're a, a very trusted by your superiors you're somebody who you know you, you would like to work your way up but you're already in quite an established position. Um, and you're not afraid to speak your mind in your current position either, like if it means upsetting some people, so be it. You know, you're very loyal to your superiors. Um, um, you're not afraid to take action where it's needed. Um, and you want to advance, basically, in, in your current position. I can see that you're very keen to move forward. Um, so I feel like you could be asked to do something with this card. You could be asked to undertake some sort of task, which will lead you into this... Um, pentacles seven of pentacles energy where you feel you can gain a lot of confidence in this new venture that you may go on um and you may be asked to carry out something that only you are trusted to do and this will lead you into a place of realization where you think actually this is where i want to be heading on my journey here in my career or or just the way that in which I'm going to make um, or gain, you know, reach my abundance, reach my objectives. Um, it could be that you feel a need to, like, plunge straight into it, um, but just be wary of doing that. 
um, the pentacles would suggest would would say, you know, slow down a little bit. You know, don't come hurtling towards, you know, this this goal. Slow down and put some planning into the mix. Um, but obviously, it suggests you're on the right path. Um, but yeah, I would say that there's going to be something, you know, an opportunity if it hasn't already come up for you where you are being urged to undertake something um, that nobody else would be trusted to do in your, you know, surrounding you in your current environment. Um, you will feel very honoured about it. Um, don't let that go to your head, obviously. Um, but keep keep the perspective of, you know, you want to do your very best um, on, in, with this task that you're going to be asked to do, okay? Um, it could be it's it could be something that involves practical you know pentacles is like a physical um energy material energy so it could be something where you have to do something with your hands or do something like that's physically a little bit challenging um not necessarily though but it may suggest that um but yeah, it's um, it's a strong position for you to be in, and you can make speedy progress, you know, once you get here. Um, it does suggest that. So, yeah, it does suggest that it could be. Use I mean using your initiative. So like, it may be that you're you know, your superior or somebody else asks you to undertake this task, which you may have to sort of go alone and you may have to navigate to a certain degree by yourself. Um, you may have to do some research. You may have to go off on a journey. Perhaps you have to travel alone um, in this, um, on this uh, quest or task that you're being asked to do. Um but this uh, Seven of Pentacles card is urging you, you know, at times to just slow down and reevaluate re your progress um, and just, you know, don't act too impulsively. Just at times, um, just have a think about, you know, stop and think. Usually the Seven of Pentacles, like I showed in the first reading, is demonstrated by um, a man looking at his work and, and, th and it's almost shows him in a state of thought, deep thought, or evaluating what he's done. Um, obviously with the unicorn, <laughs> um, it doesn't quite show that, but you can see the unicorn is looking at, you know, she's um, evaluating uh, what's just gone on. Um, and that's what this card is asking you to do at certain intervals. Um, that's an important thing in this, on your journey, okay, is regular evaluations, regular reviews of how can I improve this situation? Is there more I can do? Um, should I seek advice? Is this working for me? If this isn't working for me, why not? What can I learn from this? That kind of thing. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the success is, it seems that success is more, unlike the last reading where it suggested partnership, it's more about you using your initiative um, and not necessarily going it alone, but more, like I say, more about you doing your own research to a certain extent or like I, like I said before loan travel could be involved um, but yeah the seven of cups here would suggest that um, you know you're going to get recognition for what you achieve um, 
and you know there's gonna it's gonna bring a lot of clarity you know the quest at hand itself will bring a lot of cl clarity um and reevaluating re your progress with these sevens here will bring insight in order to move forward and basically the possibilities here are endless um so you know i would say don't focus on you know your past failures focus on your past successes what has made you successful in the past even the littlest successes where someone may have complimented you and said you know you did really well today you know what was it that made you do well at that time um this is what is what's going to get you recognized okay for your um ability to achieve um and you'll gain confidence as you move forward on this journey all right you'll your self-worth will just increase you'll gain more visions there will be more more and more possibilities coming your way there may even be some sort of breakthrough where you where you just reach you know higher or, or you just come into more options um to reach success um and that is suggested by the seven of cups ultimately you know um it's the seven of cups says you know as well to be vigilant as well it urges vigilance but it also denotes confidence and you know it, it's a card basically that suggests that whatever the quest at hand is you know it's going to bring about progress and um especially with reevaluating regularly um so yeah i mean it, this could be anything really i just feel that what stands out is something where you're going to use your initiative possibly go off alone and do it um but you you need to for this reason this is this is why you need to do little check-ins regularly like i say evaluating um and yeah i mean the number seven does seem significant here guys <laughs> or you know something with the number seven excuse my phone in the background um this time of day it's always cold callers so i'm not gonna worry too much about it um so i'm gonna pick three um of the alice in wonderland oracle cards now and just see shuffle those so we've got curiouser and curiouser discovery inquiry weirdness curiosity um so yeah i mean so the words discovery inquiry um is quite they're quite powerful messages here gosh you know when you just want a phone to stop ringing it just seems to go on and on <laughs> um but yeah this would tie in here with this um knight of swords where you're going on this sort of quest to discover to find more things out inquiry it ties in with the research do stop and do these check-ins and don't stop being curious okay in this situation um keep your mind open at all times um oh my gosh it, is that phone want to stop ringing already sorry guys i'm sure it will stop in the end yeah at some point um also got use your time well this came up in a previous reading as well and it just basically about because you're that ties in you know with working if you're work somebody who's going to be working on your own or going off on, and doing this venture um it could be like a secondment or something or um where you go off and do something different and come back uh to your usual role um and it just is basically saying like to you it looks like you'll be in charge of your own time which isn't like with the night um you're very much you're very much sort of not on your own but you're kind of you you've been quite independent in this situation so this is just a card which is um advising you to use your time well don't 
don't um, stop by the lake and chill out for too long, you know? Don't stop in the woods for too long and admire, you know, the trees and, yeah, you know what I mean, guys, you know what I'm saying. Um, keep going, use your time well, plan, strategize, keep reevaluating your progress. Um, one more card for this. Um, and we've got keeping up. Did that come? Yeah, that came up as well in the in the reading. So keeping up, um, immense effort, advance. So yeah, that ties in with this. You need to keep putting the effort in. You need to keep advancing, um, and that ties in with using your time well. Um, you're going to discover lots of new things and find out new things. The weird weirdness is interesting here on this card. I'm not suggesting that you're weird, <laughs> um, but it just, there could be something very unique about you, which could explain why you've been chosen to do this particular, um, it could be that you've got quite a, um, what's the word, I'm trying to think of it, there's a word on the tip of my tongue now, um, but it could be that you've got, you're kind of different, okay, you've got, um, Oh, do you know, there is this weird that, I'm trying to let me think. Um, okay, now my phone keeps ringing. Um, I'm just going to, hang on, I don't, I can't pause this phone because of the way, just two seconds, guys. Sorry guys about that. Oh god, I don't know. I'm I'm literally like trying to hang up the phone and it keeps ringing. It's a new phone. Sorry, I've just realised these are not all in the picture. But yeah, where was I? Um. So yeah, I think that just explains everything. There. Oh, sorry. Phones could be significant in this um connection, guys, because basically um all communication. That phone call is, <laughs> you know, won't stop. Um, okay, so I'm going to do your oracle cards, um, your fortune oracle cards, that's here. I'm going to pull two of these and then one of your work your light cards. Um, so, oh, we've got thorns. That's quite interesting um, because... It says whether in the challenges ahead will bring a new and, and positive future. That's um interesting because I was thinking, you know, with the Knight of Swords, somebody going off on a quest, like you sort of imagine them going out into the wilderness with amongst lots of thorns, there'll be challenges along the way. That's what I was saying about weirdness. I was trying to think of the weird, wasn't it? To describe somebody. Um, like I was trying to think, you know, like of a unique person, the person who's got funny ways or um eccentric that was the word so yes yeah, so it could be that you're a bit eccentric in some ways or you've got some this parts of your personality which are just a little bit out there you know and that's why you've been chosen to do this but that's exactly why you've been chosen to do this because of these challenges that you might face these thorns that you'll have to hack your way through with your sword um you know, which challenges comes with everything. It's nothing you can't handle. Sorry, I'm just going to put that back there. Um, but yeah, whether in the challenges ahead will bring a new and positive, bring in a new and positive future. So whoever has decided that this challenge that you're going to be or this proposition, this task that you're going to undertake is going to be something for you. They recognise that, you know, you're 
only you can do this sort of thing. Only you can hack through this. Other people would be like, shy away. Oh, I can't handle that. But they know you're the right person for the job. Um, that's why you be or you will be chosen. Um, I've also got the birth card. Okay. <laughs> um, that doesn't mean you're, you know, th that doesn't mean what you think it means. It means basically what it says here, universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. So, like I say, discovery, new things, um, the birth of new, um, new uh, ventures, new possibilities. Okay, the, this ties in with discovery and curiosity, like, you know, the discovery of something new, the birth of a new possibility, um, advancement, growth. Um, but yeah, I feel like that, that ties in quite well there. Um, you know, the curiosity word here, um, you know, as a, as a, you know, a baby like grows, they become curious, they learn quickly. And I feel like that's significant for you on this journey. You're going to pick things up really quickly. Um, you're going to face the challenges head on. You're not going to shy away from them um, and you're going to learn fast, um, which is, again, what why you've been chosen. Or it could just be something that you do with off your own back. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's choosing you to do this. You could just decide to go off yourself on a new project. OK, um, I was getting the feeling like you somebody's chosen you to do it just because of the night being under the king and queen but knights can also be like yeah you know i'm gonna go and do this on my own um doesn't mean they're working for their superiors um okay so i'm gonna just do now your work of light oracle card i'm just gonna get one of these and this just gives a bit more validation on how you're going to achieve what you're going to achieve um, I'll just shuffle these. Oh. And we've got the Age of Light card here. Um, it says, you've been training for this for lifetimes. That pretty much resonates with the night training. You've been training to be a knight, you know, whatever it is in your current role. Um, but it says, you know, this basically confirms you're destined for this journey ahead you're again this person is like a lone person on that you know which um kind of validates that your initiative working um perhaps by yourself could be very important here um but that is the way forward for you guys it seems with this reading using your initiative facing challenges head on um uh yeah stopping and evaluating things regularly um and you know you've been undertaking some training in previous lifetimes apparently for this so this is something you will feel more than ready for and this is something other people trust you to do well if even if it's just yourself um and yeah just to remember to use your time well make every moment count Remember, the number sevens could be significant. We've also got number four here, number 31 here on these uh, cards. I didn't mention numbers on the previous readings, but for some reason I felt the urge to mention them in this reading. Um, so, yeah, guys, and just keep up, keep up with the flow of things. Um, don't slink back. Don't um, get distracted. Keep going on your journey um yep so i hope that resonated please leave a like and comment if it did whichever reading you had um and i will see you in your next reading thanks guys